bootcamp video series my name is Azhar Slim in this video tutorial we will discuss about replacement uh, so this uh, replenishment in simple words you can say it for example if I have the product or I create here um, replenishment and I entered the minimum quantity and then maximum quantity and to order so at the time when I create a sales order a sale order and confirm if in my inventory I don't have the quantity or I have the less uh, quantity of this minimum quantity then automatically a purchase order will be created and uh, the purchase order the quantity will be this maximum quantity and uh, also this two order quantity uh, can hit for example the maximum quantity is 10 and minimum quantity is 5 if I make a sale order uh, with uh, 6 product automatically the maximum quantity means with 10 the purchase order will be created so let's make uh, one replenishment choose product I choose the test product which we created before on hand we have 15 and minimum quantity I put here 20 maximum quantity I put 40 and uh, to order 25 that's created and uh, it's uh, automated orders you can see from here now I'm going for this test product to create a sale order in my sales currently we have 15 if I again go to inventory products even these products I can access from our sales test one we have testing product and another is a test product we have on hand 15 so let's go to our sales and uh, create a sale order first set is a uh, quotation customer I'm choosing a testing customer or azure interior is a quotation template no need to choose a quotation template product we will choose test product and uh, quantity i will enter here 100 let's say uh, okay 100 <coughs> save confirm now we convert to a sale order the status okay and uh, create invoice we will do later now let's go and see what happened in uh, our purchase Go to purchase order. Still nothing happens here. If I create an invoice, a regular invoice, now confirm. Is it's still in draft? Now I'm going to confirm. Not supposed to. Again. Let's go in purchase order. Still, it's not appear in our sale order. Okay, and if I put our just a payment, 
means creator invoice cash set bank account on it now I paid this uh, invoice again I'm going to purchase reload so purchase order that six can appear or not Still nothing happens. If I go to in products, let's see what happened in our in our product. Here, sale price on hand and for cost quantity minus eighty. This goes, but if I go to in inventory. Replenishment so click here automate order so the order has been generated purchaser which means we have to click here but not uh, automated should be automated let's make here no. replenishment we have to press here this automate order let's go and check again in our purchase and uh, now here it's made it still not appear in purchase order if i go to quotation But it's here the quantity is here I have to confirm manually no it's uh, not doing automated maybe it's a uh, community version that's why but our uh, quotation uh, is made it it's appear here now not automatically generate a purchase order it's come as a uh, request uh, quotation it's a very good uh, feature and uh, replenishment in next tutorial we'll discover uh, discuss about inventory and these features maybe it's uh, more um, functionality available in enterprise edition these video tutorials we are making in community version that's why it's uh, maybe it's not complete all features and function that's why it's not going automatically we have to do some uh, manually uh, some make uh, confirmation or entries so this is for this um, our replenishment and uh, in next tutorial we'll discuss inventory adjustment